Ready to roll. New week, new build. So I got a call today from my good friend, Sal. He owns this huge management company. Uh, I met him back in the day when I did a build for the weekend and we just really been friends ever since. He called up and said, Ryan, I got an interesting build for you. It's a new slingshot and I want it to be crazy. So he's gonna send over the slingshot right now. I'm gonna sit with Musa, go over some ideas, get a rendering going. Lorenzo's working on trying to find who's got a body kit in stock so we can get this thing built. What's up? I got something new for us, a little different. So a slingshot for a good friend of mine, his name's Sal. He has an old slingshot. He's like, I wanna get rid of it. I want a new one. I want it automatic. But he's like, I want it to stand out from all the other ones you see. Lorenzo told me there was a company called Metrics that actually makes like a body kit, a roof and some other stuff. They have some kits that look like a Lamborghini, a Bugatti, some crazy things. So. Maybe we design the rendering around the parts they already make. Yeah, so that's like got some fins, a roof, yeah, a longer the roof rear fender. Roof is the main thing, right? Yeah, the roof is the main thing he wants, and he just wants it to look different. So why don't we take those parts, render something uh, white and black, white and black, and then the seats, the diamond wheels, right? Wheels, lighting. I say simple, but it's, you know. It's never it, simple. <laughs> kit is, the kit is gonna be everything. And then we'll just wrap it. Like we'll use that Anosa Tech white pearl. Mm -hmm. Cause that pearl, I swear that wrap, it looks like paint. Yeah, it's you nice, know? really nice. We'll put the logo in the headrest. He doesn't want it heavy logoed. He wants it to be more. Like tasteful. Yeah, yeah. tasteful, clean, clean and custom. So the rendering that Musa designed was a little Musa-fied. Sal loved it, but then I had to figure out a way to build it. So the company that Lorenzo found, Metrics, actually has all different pieces to kits that are already made. So what we're gonna do is take multiple different pieces from their existing kits, put it into one so we can make the rendering into reality. Como ven aquí tenemos un nuevo proyecto, tenemos un Polaris Slingshot, estamos haciendo el wrapping. Aquí tenemos las piezas que ya están uh, hechas y tenemos el, lo que es el, el diseño, cómo va a quedar. Y los de Body Shop ya tuvieron listo esta parte, lo que es la tapa, ahora me va a tocar a mí hacer el wrapping. Tenemos la compañía que es InnoceTech, que es, va a ser el Blanco Perla. Esto va a ir de suede, estas partes, la cabecera y esta parte de enfrente. Esto va a ir de vinyl blanco con diamantes y todo lo demás va a ir negro con el stitch blanco. Y se van a figurar con diamantes que son así como esto en el asiento. Y esto es la material que va a llevar en el respaldo y aquí en el asiento. So the body kit arrived, all the boxes are here. Musa and Lorenzo are gonna go down, take it out of the box, lay everything out, and make sure everything's gonna work. Two boxes of parts? That's a lot of parts. Looks like somebody started opening them and then... And gave up halfway. And gave up? <laughs> Yo. We're That's just, What does it do? Does it just sit there like this? Just sit there like that? Or like this? The other way, the other way. There you go. Like Christmas. Get to see. Oh, the headlights. Yes! 
Those are the Bugatti headlights, oh, huh? Oh, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's going to look so, so dope. There's one way to make directions. It's just to actually write the directions on the actual part. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse, huh? Yep. Like that, right? Bingo. Hey, guys. It's Ian from West Coast Customs, and I'm here with this custom-made um, hardtop system that we have for a Polaris slingshot. It's now in body shop. This one's already been done, prepped, and now it's ready to go back over so they could wrap this. We have this other part of the hard top. As you guys can see, it hasn't been prepped. We're currently in the stage where we're still putting Bondo, fillers, and working it all out, making sure the lines are straight, sending it down, making it smooth. And over here, we got this custom headlight bezel that also has to be prepped to work. It's got a really, really nice aggressive styling. It kind of resembles a Bugatti. Once this goes on the boy, it's gonna look really, really nice and aggressive. Ustedes pueden mirar aquí, tenemos el C de rines para el slingshot. Hemos usado dos clases de medidas, 20 en la parte de enfrente y 22 en la parte de atrás. Que vamos a usar el 22 en la parte trasera y 20 en la parte de enfrente. So the body's wrapped, all the pieces of the body kit are prepped and primered. Now the guys from Metrics are gonna fly across the country over here to help us install it so we can get this thing done. We've actually wrapped the entire slingshot in a nose of tech pearl white. We've disassembled it and we've prepped it and gotten it ready for the guys from Metrics. What's happening, brother? Welcome to LA. What's up? Good, man. So I think you guys brought your A-game? Yeah, we did. Ready to roll. Cool. So we got a lot of work to do to make this look like that, right? Yes, we do. We're ready to go. We brought some parts. Let's, uh, let's get cracking. Slingshot's finished. All the guys really worked well together from the metrics team to my team. The interior turned out amazing. The body kit turned out amazing. The wheel and tire fitment is perfect. Now it's time to clean it up and get it off to sell. Ready to roll. 